Chris, thank you so much. And our political analysts are joining us now with which races they're watching. We have Neil Sanapa with the Democratic View. Good morning to you. Good morning. And Kathy Abernathy on the right. Good morning to you, Kathy. Good morning. All right, let's just first talk about, you know, we've had, this is the primary uh, midterm election day. And uh, Kathy, I wanna first just start with you. What are some of the races uh, that you're gonna keep an eye, a close eye on? Here in Kern? Here, here. Let's start with here in Kern. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, there's, uh, you know, there's not a lot of tough, tough contests here, but we're pieces of other contests like the Valadeo congressional seat, like the state senate seat. Uh, locally, the countywide, of course, I'm interested in the assessor race. And uh, we have an interesting in that we have an elections, the chief uh, is retiring, so that's open. And that's uh, been, been in the news lately, so there's been a lot of interest in that race. But I think they're all of interest, but I do hope voters realize that. The statewide races, they hardly know anything about any of the candidates, but don't forget these local mm -hmm. races. You, you know, this is fixed. Only Kern can determine this. Kern can't determine our statewide winners, so I hope people vote in Kern. And Neil, uh, you know, turnout for primaries is always kind of iffy, mm -hmm. um, especially on the Democratic side. What races are you watching uh, in this, this election cycle? Yeah, so locally, I mean, I'm watching SD16. There's a lot of uh, candidates in that. I have. Uh, I've backed Brian Osorio in that race, and so I have the California Young Democrats. So Democrats, please go out and vote for Brian Osorio. <laughs> but uh, I think a lot of focus is on Soup 3. Um, this was a race in 2018 that Jeff Heinle almost won. He was only down by 1,400 votes. Um, and I originally thought, you know, Lewis Gill would have a, a hup, uh, an uphill climb there. But SEIU, UDW, his, his own campaign have been doing a lot of work. Enough so that I believe, you know, the Republican Party, Western Pacific Research, there's been some, been some reporting on this slate card. Uh, Jeff Flores is not a Democrat. Uh, it's really disgusting that, you know, the Republican Party decided to send out a mailer to try and trick Democrats into thinking that these are the Democratic candidates. So if you got this slate card, please be oh, sure to know that these are not Democrats on this slate card, especially the local candidates. They're all Republicans. All right, let, let's get you to respond. I know you, <laughs> yeah. you're going to want to respond right. here, Kathy. Right. Uh, this is something that was kind of confusing to a lot of voters. They were seeing this and they were going, wait, why are these faces next to these faces? Republicans near Democrats. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like Democrat activists are concerned whenever a Republican campaigns to a, to a Democrat, which a Republican candidate has every right to do that. And if you notice that on any slate mailer, the candidates that are on that are not endorsing each other. It's just a way to communicate to the voters. In this case, this organization, which has been sending mail into Kern County for 30 years, similar to this, they allow candidates to write, give them their picture, write what they're about, and put it on there. How the rest of it's designed is not under any control of myself or the candidates. But it's interesting that the biggest argument is, gosh, we don't want Democrats to know about these candidates. Uh, I don't think the Democrats are ignorant about what party they are, but they should know what they stand for. And that's what is on that piece of mail. But it sure seems to bother Democrats for a Republican to campaign to them. No, this isn't just campaigning. This is duping the voters. This is trying to convince voters that people that aren't Democrats are Democrats. It has Jeff Flores on here. Kathy, is Jeff Flores a Democrat? It doesn't say that he is. It says but Jeff it Flores says is the a team for okay. Democrats on it. I want to first really quick. I just need to say that there's going to be Democratic voters in polling booths right now, right? You, you have an issue with us going and knocking on doors, telling people what the slate is, helping them fill out their ballots and taking it to the elections office. Maybe well, it's because you invest here money. About Jeff Flores you invest, versus your candidate, you invest money we can do into, that. Into I don't think sending that's Democrats why we're here. disinformation right, well, to try and help your candidates. Really quick, let, let, let's talk a little bit about this. Kathy, you said that this has been going on for, for quite some time. So, Neil, why, why does this seem like this is kind of a new issue? And Kathy is saying this has been going on for, for decades. Well, I don't know how many people they used to send it out to. I had seen it in 2012, but the thing is there are different slate cards that that, you know, candidates will get emailed about very early on, right? But no Democrats are on this that that paid to be on it besides Nicole Parra who's endorsed Republicans in the past, right? So what this says to me is that this is a concerted effort by this organization to help Republican candidates in in all sorts of areas. The fact that so many voters got it in soup 3 this time around tells me that Western Pacific Research, the Republican Party, Jeff Flores, is actually afraid of Lewis Gill being able to win in Soup 3. I, Jeff think the almost is, run I think your concern is that you don't want Democrats to hear one word about a candidate who's no, Republican. No, 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 no. No, right, that's not true. Here. We're actually going to have to. Not, that's ridiculous. This, this makes a mockery of our democracy. And I think folks on both sides of the aisle would say that 
And uh, folks on both sides of the aisle with the I think you're worried that Jeff compass? Flores is the only no. Hispanic in the race and he might get some Democrat Hispanic. Right. No, what we're worried right, about we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to is lying to voters. All right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to push pause on this. Um, I think right here is evidence that despite low voter turnout so far, um, it is gonna be interesting to see what the results show later tonight when polls close at eight. Polls open at seven, results are gonna start coming in at 8 p.m. I know that both of you will be back tonight at five. I'm sure you can continue this conversation. There's a lot more to get to. And especially just a reminder too that this is the midterm primary. A lot of local races could be called later tonight. I know a lot of state races though will be most likely going on to a runoff. So uh, Kathy and Neil, thanks so much for joining us this morning. We'll see you back at five o'clock tonight. Thank you. All right. All right. Your time is 6.39. We'll be right back with your uh, Election Day forecast coming up in two minutes.